Electronic health records are really important because we can't possibly take care of patients using, using paper and pencil and fax machines, but today's versions of electronic health records are not very good. There are several specific areas that the EHRs have to improve in. One is we have to embrace a principle known as user-centered design. User-centered design is a principle of computer uh, engineering, and it says that the engineer can be really smart but they will never get it right until they actually sit in the shoes of the end user and understand his or her predicament. The second thing that EHRs have not gotten right yet is, uh, is alerts and alarms. Uh, one of the key advantages of electronic health records is it can throw off an alarm if you're prescribing a medicine the patient's allergic to. That's a wonderful thing. But we've gone overboard. We now alert the doctor, nurse, or pharmacist every time two medicines might interact or something might be going wrong. Again, that sounds good in principle, but the end result is that you're getting thousands, sometimes tens of thousands of alerts and alarms that are overwhelming the clinicians, and so they ignore the ones, even the ones that are quite important. The third area that the EHRs have to master is the principle of interoperability, which is a fancy word for all of the machines connecting to each other to allow patient data to flow through the system seamlessly. Right now, a patient being seen in a doctor's office, that computer record probably does not communicate with the record in the emergency room or the record in the hospital. We have to make that happen, and people are working on that. If we can get all those three things uh, under control, then I think our electronic health records will reach their full potential and really will enable us to provide care that's better and safer and more patient-centric and far more efficient than we do today.